Hello and welcome back everyone to the powder toy. Yeah, let's make something. A biological nuclear reactor. There we go, that's good. It just has to be a nuclear reactor where all of the like construction is built out of biology. The cooling, yeah, the cooling stack will just be made out of meat. The whole thing is gonna die like immediately. Okay, so it's gotta have something that's containing the nuclear, <sighs> anything that's hot enough to handle this is going to immediately die. Uh, there's gonna have to be some components to this that just are not biological. I'm gonna cheat a lot. We'll use iron, there's iron in your body. So technically it's fine. Honestly, like the interior of this is also going to probably die because it's too hot, but let's try our best. We'll try our best to make this work. I, I, uh, my, I have faith. All right, so that's the cooling. We will use skin on, skin can kind of handle heat a tiny bit. So maybe it'll be fine. The issue is that like, there, there's the reactor and then there's like the non-reactor bits because it also needs to not die. So we have to give the reactor like lungs, which is a little weird. Okay, so how about we... <laughs> this definitely goes on to the weirdest things I've done. We'll just do like two little oxygen generator thingies. Um, well then we'll get lung and we will put lung around this. All right, and then we will Fill this with blood. These two little chambers will be filled with blood. And then we'll have one clone to handle if any of the oxygen does a funny. And then we will have the oxygen. Uh, I don't know how we're gonna feed it. It's gonna need like some kind of mouth or something. We need oxygen inside. All right, lungs have oxygen. Okay, we'll make like a digestive tract going down the side. <laughs> the digestive tract is so hard to make too. Okay, so we need stomach just kind of stuck onto the side here. And then we need stomach valve for actually letting, oh man. Oh man, okay, so stomach valve is actually going to let the digested stuff through. Then it's gonna need like a neck made of mucus so that we don't stomach acid die ourselves. And then this needs to have like normal meat around it so that it doesn't just like pour stomach acid everywhere. And then this stomach valve actually needs to go around in a full circle because otherwise, again, it'll just pour stomach acid everywhere. Okay, and then under this, we need to have intestines, which will actually handle the digestive process. And we'll just wrap the intestines around the bottom, I guess. And... <laughs> This is getting so ridiculous. Okay, the intestines will turn that into energy and they'll just poop out of this hole right here. This is now technically able to live, I think. Uh, we'll call it the bioreactor. Biological reactors usually don't mean a nuclear reactor inside of a biological thing, but that's where we are. Um, the glucose and everything is zero. It's starving to death. So what we're gonna do is we are going to... Okay, first off, this is going to be a problem because this is going to have a very hard time getting oxygen because it's so far away from the blood. So I'm gonna just dig a hole into the flesh and I'll put a portal just to pump it through. And we could use a proper heart, uh, but that's getting too complicated for our current purposes. So this will do for now. Okay, so circulatory system being added now. Gotta, gotta love 
circulatory systems. Could actually use Blood Vessel and not cheat. But again, I'm not super duper concerned with this one being like the most legitimate. We're building a nuclear reactor made out of flesh. I, I don't I don't think we're too worried about realism. If if I'm wrong, let me know. I, I just don't think it's a top concern right now. So we're going to toss that there. And we're gonna toss it here. And now, okay, the flesh decided to grow. Okay, that, that is not optimal. That is definitely not optimal. <laughs> I guess this needs to be a wee bit thicker, which is going to complicate this greatly. Let's see if I can get it to like one, one thick here so that the, uh, the skin doesn't grow like crazy. Must things always be this way? Gotta make sure that there's like no spot where that skin will grow through. Okay, that was, that was better. Still had a bit of problem though. Hey, you just do one step forward and replace all the skin with blood. That's a good question. Okay, we're, we're getting close. I don't know why we're having issues in these spots. I don't even know how that grew. I'll just, I'll just remove some of the lower layer skin in the problem areas. It's fine. Don't worry. I don't think it can feel pain. It, it can't, it can't feel all of the immense amount of damage I'm doing to its lower skin layers. So after digging out all of its lower skin layers and replacing them, <laughs> a very non-painful process, may I add. We, we asked, we made sure it didn't feel any pain in the process. Let's see how this does now. Oh, oh, the right side is perfect. The left side has a tiny bit of leakage, but now it doesn't. Would you look at that? I accidentally closed this in, but look, oh yeah, we got circulation happening. Okay, let's add some more blood. Add some more blood. Very good. Now we just have to add some glucose because if we don't add glucose, it's going to die. So glucose, yep, we're just gonna inject that straight into the bloodstream. A whole lot of it because the stomach and stuff seriously needs some glucose. To there we go, and now, now that there is energy for the cells to do their thing, the stomach is starting to function. So let's go ahead and add some glucose so that it can actually digest. And uh, it is it is digesting, and it's it's gonna do. I actually that was a slight problem because I let it digest a little bit too much. I should probably put like a pocket over here so that it properly goes through. That's fine. Okay, so now it's actually look, it's pooping. <laughs> it's it's alive. Uh, point being, we we now have a living structure designed for a nuclear reactor. It can it can digest. It can do all of the things that are needed. Um, let's see if we can actually make it do biology and react at the same time. So we're gonna need water to be put into here. So let's go ahead and get some clone and fill it with some oh, shoot okay so what needs to happen is there has to be okay there's gonna have to be two layers here okay so there's gonna have to be... this is ridiculous <laughs> this is very ridiculous okay so there's gonna have to be uh let me think about this as a we'll do a square it'll be a little bit easier so there's gonna be a square of insulation so that we don't burn and then there's gonna be a square of iron and then there's gonna be the actual reactive material in the middle here there's gonna be a little gap up top so that just the water touches it and we're gonna pray that the water transfers the heat away 
quickly enough that it doesn't burn literally i feel like the steam for it to be steam it's going to be hot enough to cause damage i don't think there's any way to do this where it doesn't like end horribly i feel like all we can do is delay the ending horribly as long as possible like oh and the iron iron can't actually uh it'll rust and fall apart okay so we got to do titanium for the part that actually touches the okay so the bioreactor what is going okay the blood has all just disappeared that's nice let's uh Let's increase the blood supply. <laughs> We're going to pray. We'll do a thorium reactor. I think it's a tiny bit safer than the other alternatives. All right, so thorium reactor will have two neutron producers. And let's see how this goes. These are generating... T oh, oh, look. Oh, my God. <laughs> Is it killing the cells? Or are they surviving? Oh my god, yeah, so it's damaging them, but I think that the... I think that the creature is healthy enough. Why does the blood... Why... The blood is really having some... I'm gonna put some portal out here. I feel like the portals are sucking the blood in faster than they can output. The, yeah, okay. That's a little bit better. Um, There is damage to the skin... But the question is whether or not the skin is able to regrow fast enough that it just doesn't matter. So let's repair this. Little. The dead tissue is a problem. Uh, I don't I don't know how we're going to solve that problem. There is just a whole lot of unhappy. Oh, the neutrons are causing everything to move in here, too. I didn't even think about that. The neutrons are causing damage. Okay, we'll just do like a pixel of Nihonium. That should that should heat it up enough uh, to... <sighs> but the dead tissue is seriously an issue. The only way to really deal with it is burning it. I haven't really made a solution to dead tissue yet. Oh no, the water got too hot! The water got too hot and it burned through. Oh, it burned through the meat wall. Yeah, so th this is this is a real issue because you can do some real damage to the biology from, from having so much heat. Um, I guess I guess we can just insulate the inside. This is getting towards cheating though. If 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 the entire thing is insulated and it's just really a nuclear reactor inside of biology, is it really a biological reactor at that point? Oh god, there's so much, there's so much damage. This is all... It, it's, it's not looking good so far. There is an incredible amount of damage to the biology. Um, however, it's still functioning. I mean, sure, a little bit of damage here. Not even sure how we're going to get blood out of here now. Um, the, the skin is really just growing in now that everything's, like, broken. I'm going to try to make a pathway for the blood. Yeah, that's, that's not going great, not going to lie. There we go. Um... Not not the prettiest organism I've made, although they're all generally nightmare fuel. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of dead tissue in here. There's a little bit of literally just falling apart because it's unable to keep up with the amount of heat. Um, the entire thing's kind of dying. Uh, but you know, it was it was an attempt. There, there was an attempt. Might as well at this point just call it a day. Just throw some bacteria in there. Let it, let it end things. All right, let's toss some bacteria in there. There we go. All right, 
Have a good time, Bacteria. I mean, there there is not a ton you can do about this. It, it's kind of opposed to biology to be creating insane, unmanageable amounts of biology is not meant for this. I mean, if we had like a bone type with slightly higher abilities, or maybe even just like genetic variances that allowed for higher. I mean, there are living things that are capable of surviving extreme heat, but all of this has kind of been representative of mammals, and yeah, we suck. Mammals are terrible. Um, so yeah, I, I think what we learned today is that biological nuclear reactors are infeasible. Alright, love you guys. Bye.